demand versus alternate energy supply. The real issue surrounding the XL pipeline is energy supply and demand. While alternative energy is increasing in capacity, it is not keeping pace with increased consumption. Supply equals demand and vice versa. Without reducing consumption, traditional fuel sources will continue to make up the difference. You can't just blame the producers. The fuels and the energy they produce does not disappear down a black hole. It gets used by us. Just saying no is not good enough. To avoid the need for the pipeline and other traditional energy projects, we must step up our energy conservation efforts as well as try to boost the alternative energy infrastructure. It is wrong to think we can very quickly switch to clean energy and eliminate carbon fuels. There are two problems with this notion. First of all, the building of the alternate energy infrastructure needed is a very, very large undertaking. For example, to replace the energy provided by the one million tons of coal that we use per year would require the construction of a very large number of solar arrays. This would take years and billions or trillions of dollars to build. And I'm sorry, but effort and money is not unlimited. Second, it is hard enough to replace current carbon fuels without also having to meet the new demand. Matching new demand or capping supply is not enough. Reduction of consumption is absolutely essential, otherwise we are just chasing a faster moving target. We need to make it easier for a green society to be. If supply did not match demand, there would be shortages. We need to have a replacement for an essential thing before we dispose of what we have. Without reductions, more coal will be mined and more oil drilled and more imports and all that stuff to meet the demand. So instead of just placing blame on carbon energy producers, we need to focus on reducing our usage. If we don't want projects like the XL pipeline, then we must re reduce demand. It's that simple. It is doable. I mean, look at California and its electrical uses compared to the rest of the nation. Uh, I think Hawaii is a different situation. They probably don't need as much uh, heating and cooling because, you know, they're located in the tropics. But it's doable. The bottom line is we need to reduce, reuse, and recycle and engage in appropriate actions as a society. Bye.